when we work with great apes and animals, you know, we're making sure that they're not being harmed during the shoot. But we didn't know the backstories. The second we heard about it, it was one of those projects that you just know has incredible potential and it's just really exciting for us. The mill said, guys, you know, we want to create an ape where you don't see the difference and prove to the industry that the technology actually is now far enough to not mistreat these animals but still be able to use them. And that suddenly created a whole different kind of storyline for us. We needed to believe that he was a living breathing fresh, flesh and blood character. We needed to believe that he was alive. We did an enormous amount of research. We, we watched uh, countless documentaries. Technologically, we had never done anything like this before. And we really immersed ourselves in just the society of the chimpanzee and how they behave. That was you know, one of the clues to move forward and really get closer to our character and really put life into it. And it's not just a CG chimpanzee, it's, it's actual character. Before we got, we got on set, we knew clearly what we were aiming for. Traditionally, you would get uh, motion capture, you'd get people in spandex suits with, with, with tracking cameras. For this project, I didn't want to use motion capture. I wanted to try and do it a different way. So we decided to work closely with an actor and actually film his performance and base largely the performance of the chimpanzee on him. By not having motion capture on set, we were able to focus on performance and not be clouded by too much technology overshadowing the shoot. Our animators were able to layer animation on top of the emotion that we captured on set that made it feel like real chimpanzee behavior. I really think we pushed it really far in terms of details. We really focused on all the muscles, bloodstream, uh, pores, hair, all the details is what make it different and what make it real. So much that adds to the realism of this chimp are things that you, you don't actually see, but you feel. It was the subtle movements, the small little movements in the face, the way that the eyes twitched, the way that the skin moved. It really was these almost imperceptible anomalies that happen. We really wanted to show that there is an alternative to using primates in advertising. We all have one thing in mind. Our goal is the same, to raise awareness in the industry. And there was an opportunity here to do some good and actually raise the bar. I really hope that this is the start of a, a new era in film and advertising for these creatures.